and welcome to today's video. This is a B1 level lesson um, on civics and citizenship and today we're going to be talking about voluntary responsibilities of citizens. So what are some ways that people can help in their communities? Um, and we'll look at these photos. Looks like they're participating in a farmer's market. Um, this looks like a walk or a marathon or march. Um, the pink shirts suggest maybe for to raise money for cancer, supporting local uh, sporting events, uh, participating in town hall meetings maybe. Um, and do you participate in any events in your community like these? So what does it mean to volunteer? Well, volunteer is when you uh, perform some sort of action or service um, which you don't get paid for. Um, and so have you ever volunteered? What are some ways that people can volunteer? And we see some of that in the pictures here. They are picking up garbage, um, putting together uh, food, uh, food for people who are needy, and here they're planting trees. So one way that a citizen can help their community is by recycling. So we're going to read the scenario and then answer the questions. Recycling an environmental responsibility. Your apartment complex doesn't have a recycling program and you know it's better for the environment to recycle. Is it your civic responsibility to take your recyclables to a recycling center? So is recycling mandatory in your country? In some countries it, it might be, uh, in other places it's voluntary. And do you think it's your responsibility as a citizen to recycle, reduce waste, and make environmentally friendly choices in your daily life? All right, suggesting. So there are many ways to make a suggestion in English. Some ways to make suggestions include you could take your recyclable items to a recycling center. You may want to speak with the head of your apartment complex. Why don't you speak with the head of your apartment complex? You can also use sh should to give advice. You should recycle when you can, and you should recycle paper and some plastic. So what should you do? So look through these um, scenarios and then try to give advice community cleanup. Your neighborhood organizes a community cleanup day to keep the streets clean. Should you participate, even if it's not mandatory, as part of your civic responsibility to help keep the environment clean? So this is really just your opinion, but practice using um, some of these uh, sentence starters to make a suggestion or give some advice about the community cleanup. Volunteering for local government. Your city council is looking for volunteers to serve on a committee to help with an important local issue. Should you volunteer your time, even if you will not get paid? And is this your civic responsibility? And again, you can use these sentence starters to make some suggestions or give advice. Here are a few more, freedom of speech. You hear someone saying mean things about a group of people. What should you do? Do you have a civic responsibility to say something to the person, even if it might lead to a fight? And protest for change? There's a protest in your city to fight for a change in a government policy you care a lot about. Do you have a civic responsibility to participate, even if you need to miss a day of work or school? All right, so now I can read this scenario and suggest or give advice. So helping neighbors in need. Your elderly neighbor cannot shovel snow from their driveway after a heavy snowstorm. What should you do? Is it your civic responsibility to help them? So again, you can think about that, write down an answer, and use some of these sentence starters um, to help you. All right, we're going to look at some vocabulary words. You'll want to match the vocabulary word with its definition. So letter A, a group of people chosen to do a task, make decisions or discuss and solve issues or topics. That would be number three, a committee. 
to offer your time or help without being paid, often for a charity or for the community. That's number one, volunteer. A set of rules made by an organization or government for different situations. That would be number five, policy. Required by law or rule, something that must be done or followed. That's number two, mandatory. And related to or located within a specific area, town, city, or region, typically not far from where you are. That's number four, local. So donating to charity. So what is a charity? Um, a charity is usually an organization that they aren't in business to make money. They're in business to um, offer some kind of good or service, usually to people who can't afford to pay for it. And so here's an example. This is probably a food pantry. Um, so people donate um, food and then this charity distribute, distributes the food to hungry people. And what does it mean to make a donation? Well, that means to give either money or products, uh, services to a charitable organization. And is it your responsibility as a citizen to donate to charities that help those in need, both locally and globally? And this would be more your opinion um, about whether you think that that's uh, your responsibility. All right, so we're going to read the opinions <coughs> that Greta, Greta and Julian discuss about civic responsibility. So Greta says, um, civic service should be man community service should be mandatory so that everyone helps the community. And Julian says, community service should be voluntary to keep personal freedom and choice. I think civil responsibility means participating in politics by voting and staying informed. I think civic responsibility should be everyday acts of kindness and helping neighbors. I think that it is the responsibility of a citizen to fight for social change. I think the only responsibilities of citizens is to pay taxes and obey laws. And you might agree or disagree with some or all of these. All right, we have some more vocabulary practice. So you're going to complete each sentence with a word from the boxes below. So in some countries, military service is mandatory for citizens as part of their civic responsibilities. Supporting local businesses is a good way to help your community. You should volunteer at the community center to meet new people and help the community. You might want to join a committee to help in your community. You can support a charity by donating food to a local shelter. And every year she donates $100 to a charity on her birthday. All right, now we're going to match the words um, with the pictures. So let's see a soup bank a soup kitchen or a food bank, that would be picture A. And this is where people can serve food uh, to people who are hungry. Animal shelter is picture B. Uh, here volunteers help to take care of the animals there. Library, in a library volunteers can read stories to children or help to shelve books, make copies, um, any number of things at a library. A senior center, uh, here volunteers may um, help out uh, visiting with the residents, um, sometimes serving food and drinks. Sometimes people have service animals, dogs that they bring in um, so that the uh, residents uh, can visit with the animals. And a community center. Uh, you might be able to volunteer by teaching a class or giving a, a talk about a certain topic. All right, so now we're going to read the list of volunteer opportunities, and you can decide which one that you would be the most interested in. So local food bank volunteer. 
You could help collect, sort, and give food to families in need at your community's food bank. It's a great, ra it's a great way to support those who may not have food to eat. Library Assistant. You could return books to the shelves, help visitors find what they are looking for, and help with library events. It's a way to encourage reading and learning in your neighborhood. Hospital Volunteer. You could help with tasks like bringing patients around the hospital, delivering flowers, or spending time with families in the waiting areas at your local hospital. It's a chance to help people who are sick. An environmental cleanup crew. You could join a group that cares about nature and participate in local park cleanups or environmental projects. You will help protect the environment and keep your community beautiful. So your friend is interested in becoming more active in his community. What advice and suggestions could you give him? And again, these are the sentence starters that you can use to give those suggestions and advice. And that brings us to the end of today's video. Please like, subscribe, and share. And if you have any questions, leave those for me in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.